In the 8th and 9th century, from around the years of 700s and 800s, lived two generous men, one named Pope Gregory. He loved God, helped poor people, involved in church, and he was a monk. Charlemagne was a powerful king of the Franks land. He had an empire and worked with Pope Gregory. These men used to spread their chant to other people. The name of this chant happens to inquire the Pope's name. It is called Gregorian chant. Gregorian chant, possibly because he is one of the originators of this style of music. The music mostly had sacred subjects subject. sung in a monophonic fashion. One melody, one melody with nothing else. With nothing else. <laughs> Also, the music can have a melisma, melisma, a word stretched into many notes, notes, notes. Alleluia. This divine sound was known as traditional chant because the Catholic Church believed it came from God. One day in church, some scribes were writing the lyrics sung by Pope Gregory. While he was behind a curtain, the scribes started getting curious and wanted to see where this beautiful sound was coming from. They peeked behind the curtain and shockingly saw a dove next to Pope Gregory, providing him with a God-given voice. What a way for people to be impacted that this was a true sound to adopt and use to this very day. Day.